when I first started, it was for short-term rentals only, and that's a separate company. It's still going, but that's not where I want to go. So I started um, my residential side because when I started the short-term rentals, it was with with all these problems in mind, right? Like I knew that there was so many people out there that needed cleaning um, crews that catered to the intricacies of short-term mm. rentals. And the business did very well, except it wasn't scalable because all I had in mind was the, I keep wanting to say end user, but like the customer, right? It was built around the customer, which in theory sounds great, but that's not scalable, right? There's just so much more to business and, and operations. You've got your staff, you've got, you know, like when, as you grow, can it, can it operate stably, right? And I hit a wall. So it was like, yeah, awesome. It's got traction. It's going well. And we've got something here. And then I, I saw that like, I'm going to be, I'm going to be bald. I'm going to be gray dead, you know, before I even get to <laughs> retirement, if I stick with this, it's not going to work. So I hired a coach, you know, and then, um, I f realized, okay, if, now I'm looking at it instead of like, Oh, look, there's the need, which we always hear about and let's fix it or, you know, mm -hmm. help these people. Um, it's interesting how that only takes you so far, you know, it really does. It only takes you so far. And that's something I didn't realize until I got into it, you know? And so now it's like, okay, you've got that aspect, um, solving the problem in the community or the market. And then you've got, okay, but what do I want out of this? Cause the business has to work for you. Otherwise, what are you doing? You know, we all know yeah. that, right? Yeah, so exactly. it's got to work for you.